Will a lack of fetal pole at six weeks result in a miscarriage? Hello everyone. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that's important to anyone who's navigating through the early stages of pregnancy. We're going to discuss the fetal pole, what it means if it's not visible at six weeks, and whether this might indicate a possible miscarriage. It's a sensitive topic, but crucial to understand. This information can help set expectations and provide comfort during this critical stage of pregnancy. What is a fetal pole? Let's start at the beginning. The fetal pole is the first direct imaging manifestation of the fetus. It's seen on ultrasound as a thickening on the margin of the yolk sac. Typically, it starts to be visible between 5.5 to 6 weeks of gestational age with high-resolution ultrasound imaging. What if the fetal pole is not visible at 6 weeks? The absence of a fetal pole at 6 weeks doesn't necessarily mean there will be a miscarriage. There are several reasons why this might happen. Firstly, the estimation of the gestational age might be slightly off. Even a few days can make a significant difference in these early stages. Secondly, ultrasound quality and the experience of the operator can play a crucial role. So, a follow-up ultrasound after a week or so is often recommended in these cases. When should I worry? If the fetal pole is not visible after 7 to 8 weeks of pregnancy, or if there are other worrying signs such as the absence of a heartbeat after the fetal pole should be visible, then there may be cause for concern. But even then, it doesn't definitively mean a miscarriage is inevitable. Every pregnancy is unique, and it's always best to consult with your healthcare provider to understand what's happening in your specific situation. To wrap up, the absence of a fetal pole at six weeks doesn't automatically point towards a miscarriage. It's important to have regular checkups and discussions with your healthcare provider, who can give you the most accurate and personalized advice. It's natural to feel worried or anxious in these situations, but remember, it's not always bad news. Stay informed and keep communication open with your healthcare professional. We hope this video was helpful in understanding this complex topic. Stay healthy and take care.